Hi, it's Rob from Ideal Heating. Today we're going to run through the servicing procedure if you've had to strip the boiler down. As you can see, we've got all the components out at the moment, so we'll just run through the, the procedure from here on in. The first thing to remember is to replace the sump cover. As we all know, the circuit board on the Logic is bulletproof, but it's not waterproof. So we'll get that back in place before we start pouring any water through the heat exchanger at all. So we're going to steadily clean the heat exchanger, pouring water through until there are no more deposits which you see forming in the sump at the bottom. At that point, there's two things that we need to do really. We need to be checking the condition and the spark gap of the electrodes, making sure that they are dry and, and not damaged in any way. Once we're happy the heat exchanger is clean, we need to remove the trap and clean the trap. From there we'll move on to cleaning the components. The first thing we're going to do is look at the injector. As you can see here it's pretty discoloured and mottled so we're going to clean this with a soft abrasive pad and we're going to clean both outside and inside the injector to give us this nice clean brass finish. Moving on, we're going to have a look at the Venturi. The seal just needs inspecting, if there's no signs of damage it doesn't need replacing and just cleaning with a soft brush should it be required. From there we're going to have a look at the fan. The important thing to consider here is the, the condition of the seal. Just make sure it's all intact. If that's fine, you can use an air duster to clean any debris from the fan itself. And then finally we're going to look at the burner. So with this we're going to brush with a very soft brush, inspecting the red seal, which only needs replacing if there's any signs of wear or damage. For more in-depth tutorials on ideal products, please visit the Expert Academy online.